How many can say God is excellent? How many know it's good? To, it's a good thing just to be here. Now I thought it was an anniversary. In the anniversary, we make a lot of noise. Y'all know at parties we make a lot of noise, right? Now we're at House of God when things get a little dry for me. Noah's the only thing that picked me up. Now I know it's about a close to 100 people, but can we make it sound like it's about 800 people up in here? That was good, but we don't let 200 right there. We got 600 more to go. Can you just make some noise? Mount Pleasant, we at 550. We still got 250 to go. Can somebody make some noise? All right, so listen. We at 750. If I can just get my youth to make a little noise, we might make it there. Come on, somebody make some noise up in the here. Uh, we're we going to do it one more time, but let me tell you something. Uh, I, I think when it was football season and I, I rode past the brick yard and I believe Thompson must have made a touchdown because I, I, I thought it was an accident. It was so much noise. It was like the building was rocking. So, so can we go back to the brick yard just one time? When, 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 uh, when man just go to touchdown, can, can we just make a little noise right at the brick yard? And... We got that in. I, I, I think we made it out in. It's good to be here. It's good to be above ground. Regardless of what you're going through, regardless of what you're facing, everyone can agree with me and I say, I'm still here. And it's by the mercy and the grace of God. Given unto the pastor in his absence, to my pastor, my mom, she told me she had to leave. Early, but she said she wanted to show a face yeah. and support to my to my brother associate pastor to to my wife my kids everybody here to all the ministers on the roster and uh, for the hospitality to the ministry in the back I I thank God for you all an opportunity for having me here I don't know about you all but I'm standing here only because God made a way yes. just a little simple song I ain't gonna sing it all say you. Made a way when my back was against the wall, and it looked as if it was over. Lord, you made a way, and I'm standing here only because you made a way. Can I say it one more time? Yeah. You made a way When my back was against the wall And it looked like if it was over Lord, you made a way mm. And I'm standing here Only because you made Away. Look at I tell you what God did. Listen, I said, You move mountains. Anybody know? You call walls to fall without power. You perform miracles. There ain't nothing that's impossible. Somebody can say, So we're standing here only because you may help us say, You. You may make Just stay right there. You, you made Can somebody just say that today? You made a way. Young people, I know y'all can say that. You, you made way. Anybody ever had their back against the wall, but so ain't somehow. God stepped in right on time. You made a way. You know I tell somebody. 
don't know how, don't know how, but you ow, man. Don't know how, but you did. Don't know how, but you did it. Don't know how, but you did it. Don't know how, but you did it. Don't know why, but I'm grateful. Don't know why, but I'm grateful. Don't know why, but I'm grateful. Listen. And I'm standing here only because you may. And we're standing here only because you may. And I'm standing here only because you may away. Somebody's still looking at me crazy. But tell somebody the tornado missed me. Y'all remember the storm just the other day? Somebody could have been without a home. Somebody could have been gone, but somebody said, God, you made a way. I don't know about nobody, but God keep on making a way. Every time I turn around, the Lord making a way for me. Can somebody say that every time I turn around, God? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Am I in the right place this morning? Am I in the right crowd this morning? Anybody that know God made a way? See, that's why I, to I told y'all when they make that noise, you just do something to me. It, it just make me think, y'all. It make me think about all the obstacles that I've been over. And the only thing I think about when I hear that noise is the victory. That God won from me. Anybody know we have victory on today? Hey, my young people, I need y'all to help me throw some signs this morning. Throw some deuces, say victory, baby. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about right now. I need some young people to help me this morning. How many of y'all know there's a word from the Lord today? Simple word, simple word this morning, coming from Mark, the eighth chapter. And this morning, I just stopped by to help the young people strengthen their relationship with God. As we see that my, my dad, my mom, grandma always told me, said, when we ought to sing, we just can imagine what the church will be like. So today I just come just to encourage you, at least put them in good hands. Let them know that the church is going to be all right tomorrow. The church is going to be all right today. Yeah? That was a word from the Lord, Mark 8, chapter, starting at the 27th verse. And it reads as following. And Jesus went out and his disciples into the town of Syria, Philippi. And by, the, and by the way, he asked his disciples, saying to them, Who do men say that I am? And they answered, John the Baptist. But some say, Elijah, and others, one of the prophets. And he said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Peter answered and said unto him, Thou art the Christ. And he charged them that they should tell no man of him. You may be seated. If we had to use for a topic this morning, just a simple question. I need you to look at your neighbor and just look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, the topic today is, do you know who Jesus is? Turn to somebody else and ask them, say, do you know, do you know who, Jesus who Jesus is? Well, this morning, God wants us to know him just like we know everybody else. You know how it is when somebody moves into your community. 
and they move next door a couple of streets down, you want to know everything about them. You want to make sure they're not a mass murderer, or they're not a, a sex offender, or they, they're not coming to bring your community home. So you know how they, that's how God wants us to learn everything you know. You know how it is. You get in the community, you can't find out a whole lot, so you decide, I'm going to make them a pie, I'm going to make them a cake. I need, I need to go over to the house and, and make sure I want to see is he married, is he having any children, or, or what's going on. You, yeah, we get all into their business. But God said this morning, he wants you to know him, young people. Young people, he said he wants you to know him just like you know Beyonce. Just like you know Kanye West. Just like you be listening to that Lil Wayne. Y'all better help me here. Yeah, just like you know about Rihanna and Miley Cyrus and, and how you know about uh, 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 Michael Jordan and, and LeBron James or uh, Stephen Curry or uh, Kurt Franklin. God said he wants you to know him. Yeah, they got happy when I said LeBron James. We must got some Cleveland fans in here. Well, I did say Stephen Curry. We got in the Warrior fans in here. All right, God said he just want us to know him today. Well, young people, I need y'all to go with me because uh, we, we, we as old people, I want y'all to know before I get started that everything that's in the world that y'all have today, we already had before. So somebody asked me, well, how can we get to know Jesus? You saying, who do men say I am? Young people, this is how we get to know Jesus. The first thing God said, he want how to get to know Jesus is by Facebook. Y'all have y'all version of Facebook. But we have our version of Facebook. And my Facebook is get my face and I put it in this book. <laughs> Understand something. We have a lot of educators in here. If we go to the school system, everybody say the kids, they happen when it's mouth time. They happen sometimes with science because they get to do experiment. But when it's time to read and comprehension, I, I, oh, yeah, yeah, the kids say, I don't want to read that long passage because it, it's too long and they ask too many questions. But let me tell you something. In order to know Jesus, we got to go to Facebook. We got to understand how God created the heaven and the earth. We got to go to Genesis 1. We, we got to understand that God created the heaven and the earth. Everything was void. But I want you to know in Genesis 1, I looked at it different. Not only was the world void, but we use our body as we were void. But the good thing about God, when we start reading Facebook, he brought us to the light. He helped us to see things that we didn't normally see. Yeah. He put things together in our life so we're able to, to separate the right from the wrong. I, I want you to know the Bible said, study to show thyself approved unto God, rightly divide the word of truth. Tell somebody you can't say nothing if you don't know nothing. Tell, look at your neighbor, young people, tell your friends, say, get your face in the book, get your face in the book. I want y'all to know something there. That this is how it is. God said that, 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 that ye are the light of the world. So guess what? We, we, he said, guess what? That we don't hide on the bush. So as young people, you may come when you first start in Christ, you may be like a little laser. Then it should move up to a flashlight, regular. Then go to an LED light. Then we should be going to a street light. Then we should end up in a, in a, in a, in a, in a uh, uh, the, what they call, you know, the ball game, the braids have the big lights where you can see everything. So I want you to know that when you start doing something for God, when you learn God and get a relationship with him, it don't, it don't care who around you, your light should be shining. It doesn't matter what your friends say, you still, still know the meaning that God is my provider. God is my healer. God can get me off this peer pressure. God can turn my life around. Baby, just get your face in the book. Do I have anyone else that can help me say, I got to get my face in the book? Not, on, not only is it about Facebook, baby, but it's another thing that y'all know about. It's FaceTime. Uh oh, y'all know what FaceTime is. Anybody know what FaceTime is? Yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all get to talk to y'all little friends, y'all see them. But God said He wants us to have some personal encounters with Him. Uh oh, uh oh. Understand, God said FaceTime means a lot of time you got to learn how to get down on your knees. You got to learn how to pray. Uh, I want you to know mom and daddy won't be around always. 
Oh, mom and dad ain't going to be able to help you to get out of some circumstances. But I want you to know when you call on the name of Jesus, that God will see you through. How many of y'all know that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow? I want you to know there's power in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. I know you can't see God, but, but I want you to know you should be able to feel him sometime. I don't know about you all, but, but if you can't feel the God that you serve, something wrong with you. Yeah, if you can't feel the God sometimes, something wrong with you. Matter of fact, you need to try the God that I serve. Because every now and then when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. FaceTime. That, that's how it was. And, and, and Jacob had some FaceTime with danger. And I want you to understand something. When you have a talk with God, a lot of times your, your problems not, will not be fixed at that moment. But sometimes we have to be like Jacob. We have to say, hold on until God bless us. I'm not just talking to the young folk, but I'm talking to some older people too. Somebody been waiting on a blessing a long time. Man. And you want to throw in the towel, but you got to hold on and say, I won't let go until you bless me. Listen, listen. So we got to spend face time. Then you have face time with God three times a day. And I'm going to tell y'all something. A lot of times we be on FaceTime, we get in trouble. Yeah. Then you got in trouble for being on FaceTime. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Took him to the line then. Uh-huh. But how many of y'all know that FaceTime that sometimes get you in trouble, it's the same FaceTime that'll get you out of trouble? Uh-huh. Well, because Daniel stayed on his knees praying before God, and he wasn't scared because they said he, he let the wound up. And they heard it. Well, let me get like the old folks. Let me get the y'all like he heist up the one. <laughs> and he continued to pray. And when he prayed that, that, that the people got mad because they said it won't be no more praying. But I, I want you to know something. When you can't call on mom and daddy, you can pray. A lot of times when you can't even pray out loud, you can say a breath. Uh, you can just pray on the inside. And I want you to know something. When you do it on the inside, God will manifest himself on the outside. I don't know about you, but we got to learn that FaceTime, y'all. Not only that, I'm, I'm trying to help you out this morning. Because, I, look, I, I was talking to my niece because I don't know nothing about this stuff. But she said, Uncle Roll, there one more thing. I said, what is that, baby? She said, we got Snapchat. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, uh-huh. Snapchat. I told y'all I ain't know them about it. See, yeah. So I called my niece, y'all. I said, I said, baby, what that is? She said, well, Uncle Rose, you know you can write a comment on that one. I said, huh, you can? She said, yeah. She said, Uncle Roe, you can write a comment on that one. She said, and you can take a picture. And she said, it's a good thing. She said, but they can't, they, they, can't, they, can't, they can't respond to that one. They can't, they can't get in there. So young people, you got to learn how to use that Snapchat. When God bless you, guess what? You got to tell somebody about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to put it on. The, I, I, I need y'all. Y'all got y'all phone today? Anybody got your phone? Uh oh, she got her. Yeah, I need you to Snapchat right now. Say, listen, I'm at Mount Pleasant. I've been on Facebook. I'm doing a little FaceTime. Now I'm Snapchatting. And tell somebody I'm talking about the goodness of Jesus. Do do I have anybody else in here? See, David David was on Snapchat because he went in song. He said, if it had not been for the Lord, who was on my side? Oh, can I get somebody here to Snapchat with me just a little while? If it had not been for the Lord who's on my side, all the things that I've been through, all the stuff that I'm going through, if it had not been for Jesus. Yeah, yeah, not only that, he, he, he kept on, he kept on, Chad. He said, he said, he said, I know God favors me because my enemies didn't triumph over me. Anybody got some haters that want to see you fall? Anybody got some folks that send trap for you? But through it all, God allow you to step over the enemy? God allow you to step over the... Tell somebody, you got to tell somebody about it. 
You got to tell somebody that God is good. You got to tell somebody that God will bring you out. And you know what? That's a good thing. They can't respond to it. They can't do nothing about it. Because you know a lot of people say, well, I don't know about that, but they shouldn't have wrote it. But tell it, that's a good thing. They can't respond. I tell them, you don't know my story. So you can't judge my praise. If you've been through what I've been through, you would be praising him too. Now, 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 my pleasure. I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know this is a little outside the box for, 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 for me, probably for some of y'all. But listen, I want y'all to do something. I want y'all to think about all the stuff you've been through. But what I want you to do, before you praise God, I want you to think of the story behind your praise. I want you to think of what you've been and what you used to be. Matter of fact, no, 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 no. For the, everybody got a phone in here. I need you to get a phone. Y'all know what time it is. Time to take a selfie. <laughs> somebody said, why you gonna take a selfie in church? Well, tell somebody the devil thought he had me. The devil put hell all in my home. The devil messed up on my job. But I'm looking at myself and for them that thought that I was gonna mess up, tell somebody I'm still standing. And it's by the grace of God. If there anybody in here know that God will fix it for you. If there anybody in here know God will make a way. If there anybody in here know we're through by the grace. So when them haters come to y'all, just start taking a selfie. Tell somebody, say, it ain't what it look like. Take a selfie because I tell them I don't look like what I've been through. Can anybody say I don't look like what I've been through? Anybody, anybody been through some stuff? But you need to brag on yourself that I still look good. I, I'm still able to walk it out. Yeah, I'm still able to keep my head up. I'm still able to move to the next level. Tell somebody see, they don't know why you're taking a selfie because a lot of times this was the before. But tell somebody, look at that after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, somebody said, what you saying? Well, everybody saw me in my mess, but I wanted them to see me when God bring me out. Yeah. Everybody looking at me now because I'm down, but, but I want you to know that, that I want them to see me when God bless me. So young people, that's why I'm saying, I want you to know who Jesus is today. Yeah, yeah, somebody don't still on the same. But the same God is the, the one that woke you up this morning. Guess what? Facebook didn't do that one. The same reason why you're here today, guess what? Oh, Beyonce didn't do that one. No, 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 no. Stephen Curry, good in basketball, but he didn't put them clothes on your back. Uh, he didn't bless mom and daddy with that job uh, that they can provide for the family. But I want you to know there's a man called Jesus. Y'all got to understand that. And I want you to know, I want you to learn for yourself. Young people, I know you like, I, I know you listen at Pastor Lockett. I, I know you listen at the ministers. I, I know you listen at mom and daddy. But I want you to know God for yourself. The reason why I'm telling you this is because the disciples had been with Jesus all those years. But when Jesus asked the question, who do you say I am? They didn't know the answer. Yes. I'm going to tell you this little secret. And I, don't want, I, don't want, I don't want nobody to get mad, but I'm going to tell y'all something. And y'all keep it to yourself. It's a lot of preachers in the pulpit. What? They don't know Jesus. Reverend. It's a lot of people on the deacon board. They don't know Jesus. There's a lot of people singing in the choir. They don't know Jesus. Y'all can get mad if you want to. There's a lot of people on the usher board. They don't know Jesus. There's a lot of people that wave their hand. They know what to do to just look like they know Jesus. But they don't know Jesus. <laughs> but I want you to know God for yourself. Because we listen at all these cliches and we listen at all the stuff the pastor saying. And when you really ask them where that in the Bible, they can't show you. Because they got that from they pastor. They pastor from they pastor. But I want you to know God for yourself. Come on now. 
work. Even though my mom and dad were ministers, but a lot of times, mama say something and I challenge mama. I said, mama, well, this is what I read. Uh. So I want you to know, that's what Bible study for. They ain't going to get mad at you, but say, well, I read this. Uh. And then that room with a lot of times question people when you're in Bible study, because a lot of times, guess what? You know how it is. We, 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 we can read the same thing, but we can get something different. And, and, and I want you to know something that is a, it's a good thing. I'm in the, I'm in the between, between people. And I'm not old, I'm not young, I'm just the middle, middle people. And uh, you know what I'm talking about, term like, we just in the middle, middle people, you know. And, 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 and a lot of times, young people, you can make the difference. Because a lot of times, the older people, just, I ain't talking about y'all, I'm just saying what I'm saying. A lot of times, we stuck in our ways and we don't want to change. But because the world is getting more wicked and wiser, a lot of times, young people, y'all can show us how to hang with them. See, I, I'm going to tell you something. If you tell me, if, you, if I name a dance and they say the wall and all this, I can't do it. But if you say a two-step, I might can hit that one. <laughs> Some simple going from side to side. But, but I want you to know something, that God is giving his young people wisdom to be able to live in this new millennium. He's giving his young people authority to be able to stand when they're faced with a difficult situation in this time, in this era. But you got to know who Jesus is. Even if I tell you what I, I know, I know, I know a lot of time that, that Miss Johnson walked through the school. And, and I just wonder sometimes when she look at you, do she really know? Do, she, do, you, do you really know do what she think? What does she think about you? Because a lot of time when our kids get messed up with everybody else, you don't know who's who. But when you go into that school, I expect for Mount Pleasant to make a difference. I expect House of God to make a difference. I expect if you're a child of God and you say, you got to know who Jesus is. Knowing who Jesus is, meaning that you know, boys, that your pants are supposed to be up. I was in the store. I was in the store the other day. And I got, I got confused. They messed me up so bad. Now, I thought the boy's pants supposed to be up and the girl's skirt supposed to be down. But the girl's skirts are up and the men's pants are down. I said, wait a minute, now, this ain't what I'm used to. I, I, I'm used to things being what it's supposed to be. So when you learn who Jesus is, you, I tell you what, if y'all want to learn some wisdom, uh, when you get a little older, start reading Proverbs right now. You start reading it, it'll show you how to be a young man. And I want somebody, yeah, I know y'all say, man, I'm too young to learn about God. But I want y'all to read Samuel when God called him. Samuel was a child. He didn't understand that God was calling him. But one thing I liked about Samuel, every time he heard the voice, he got up. And he began to move. And I want you to know that sometimes there will be a voice that you hear. But you can come to the middle and say, look, I keep hearing a voice calling. But what I want you to do is you like Samuel say, here I am. Thy servant here. And I don't think I need you to do it. When you learn about God, you will know the ways of God. When you learn about God, guess what? You will start understanding sometime when pastor get up here and start teaching. You'll understand what he's talking about. And, but I want you to know some things going to come through the word, but some things going to come through obedience through parents. A lot of time, <laughs> a lot of time, we want to do things our own way. But I want you to know God has a plan for our lives. God has a plan. He has a purpose. He, want, he said, he, this is what God said. He said, I, I, I pray that you all prosper and be in good health. That's why you look around and you see people in your church are successful because they obeyed the word of God. They learned who Jesus was. And so the prayer that God prayed, he blessed them that they are able to prosper and be in good health. And young people, I want you to know something. It's, you can prosper all you want to, but the last part, it gets me, be in good health. Prince of Michael Jackson had all the money in the world. But it couldn't do nothing with the hell. Understand something when you prosper and when you read about God, God will teach you how to stay healthy while you prosper. God will teach you how to be on top 
when it looked like you're on the bottom. I want you all to know something, that there is a plan for the church. And I tell you, get to know God for yourself, because I, as I know Pastor Lockett, he's a teacher, and he's, he's a man of wisdom. So a lot of things may not make sense, but keep reading and praying about it. I want you young people to know, if you use my Facebook, if you use FaceTime, Snapchat. <laughs> Even though it may be messed up, at the end you'll have a beautiful selfie. God bless you. There may be one that want to give their life to Christ today. How many of y'all know there's power in the name of Jesus to make everything?